Fresno native is getting ready to launch his career, hoping to become an officer in the U.S. Navy. This is amazing. And here to tell us more about his military goals is a hometown hero, officer candidate Brandon Rojas. And Brandon, good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning, man. Thanks for having me on. And just tell us first why you wanted to join the Navy family of veterans, right? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I have a pretty rich tradition of military service in my family. Uh, my grandfather served in the Korean War in the Navy, and my father was also in the Navy. So just carrying on that legacy was always a, a dream of mine since a young age. That is so cool. And you're from the Valley. For those of our viewers, you're Buchanan High School grad. Um, how does it feel to know that you're serving our country and then representing our area? Uh, it's a great honor. Um, Buchanan also has a, a strong uh, tradition of military service. And to add to that legacy um, is really important to me. You're right. And that is absolutely something to be so proud of. Tell us about the next steps for you. Um, where, first, where are you going to officer candidate school and just describe what that will be like? So currently I'm in uh, Newport, Rhode Island for officer candidate school. I'm in the 11th week. It's a 13 week program. Um, there's basically three phases. The first phase is a physical, second is academics, and the third phase is a, an applied leadership phase. Um, I just got my orders this morning, so I'm really excited. I'll be reporting to San Diego next month, um, and then from there, I'll be there for approximately two and a half years with oh, school man. and on my ship. What a process, and how exciting for you to be able to see that next chapter for you know young men and women watching, thinking, I want to do that. I want to serve my country in that way. Uh, what was your process like of starting this journey? It's, it's been a long process. Um, I've wanted to be a naval officer since I was about uh, eight years old. So there's been a lot of hurdles. Um, you know, things didn't always go my way, but I've been committed to it. And now I'm finally realizing my dream um, this year. So it's been an exciting and long journey. Wow, and mental toughness required for this probably um, is huge, I'm sure. Yes, ma'am, you gotta be committed um, 100%. What should young people looking at pursuing a similar pathway to you, what do they start with? What should they do? So um, to start with it, uh, you have to have your undergraduate degree uh, to become a naval officer. Um, then reach out to a recruiter um, or even family members that may, family members or mentors that may know about uh, military service. And from there, um, you submit an application and you know you hope for the best. That is really cool. What are some of the goals for you for the rest of your military career after this? I'm really looking to uh, take it kind of one tour at a time, um, but I'm hoping to grow as a, um, as a leader. Um, I really am excited to lead on a ship. Um, I have some sailing experience. Obviously, uh, my ship will be a little bit bigger. Um, so just really looking to travel the world um, and grow as a person and really help uh, my junior sailors. That's pretty amazing, and we wish you the very best, Brandon. And for those just joining, we have uh, Officer Candidate Brandon Rojas with us this morning, Valley native, Buchanan High grad. And Brandon, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. All right, and it is 649. We continue with our coronavirus.